What's going on guys it's your boy ziv10 back with another video and in this video i'm actually going to be showing you guys how to install and downgrade gta4 lcpdfr and i'm also going to be showing you guys how to install els so this is pretty much going to be the ultimate edition all over again just for 2024 and this is going to be the updated guide first thing you guys want to do go ahead and open edge or chrome whatever you guys use and then you guys are going to want to go ahead and search gta4 downgrader go ahead and go to this one I'm going to open up this link Go ahead and get this right here if you guys don't already have it. It should be already installed, as it says right here. Well, it should be installed, but if it's not, there you guys go. So after that, you guys want to go ahead and click right here, GTA 4 Downgrader. And then now once you guys have that, you guys are good to go there. Go ahead and close this and go ahead and close this. Now go ahead and open your Steam and go ahead and go to the game and go ahead and manage. And go ahead and browse local files or my fault properties and then once you guys go here go to uh, installed files and go ahead and verify integrity of game files now if you guys just downloaded the game like literally just downloaded a fresh copy you guys don't have to do this but since mine has already been downgraded I'm gonna go ahead and do this just so I can start fresh and show you guys from a fresh standpoint so I'll be back once this is done guys and once you guys get this message as you guys will notice it says 67 files failed to validate and will be reacquired that's obviously the modified files um and yeah once this is done here in a second we will go ahead and continue on with the downgrading process alrighty guys so as we're finishing up the verifying process here we are pretty much good to go now so it's gonna say play now we're good you guys can pretty much close this for now um, you guys don't want to close it all the way but you guys can get it out of your way and then as you guys know we did extract this so go ahead and open it up and go ahead and run this now um if it pops this message up right click run as administrator and then if it still says it just click that little thing here and run anyways now if you run it the other way regardless it's still going to ask you for administrative ability so make sure you guys run it as administrator and then go ahead and hit next now this is going to ask for the either the gta4 directory containing the gta4 like exe or the actual file my best way of doing it for you guys would just be to literally just select a folder and put it in for you. Go ahead and hit next. It's probably going to come up orange. That's totally fine. Or orange, yellow. But it, it's totally fine. Just let that go. Hit next. Um, this is up to you guys. I'm not personally going to do this. This is totally up to you guys if you want to do this. I'm not. So I'm going to hit skip. Now, this is where some people get confused here. So if you guys read right here for AS, ASI mods and great performance, you do 1.80. If you're going for LCPDFR and mods like that, you need 1.70. 1.40 is if you're going for EMBs and like super fancy maps and stuff like that. Now this this is going to be in another video. I am going to be coming out with a new video on how to actually do this properly. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you guys just stay tuned and have the bells and notifications on so you guys will be notified and i'm gonna go ahead and skip that radio downgrader by shanid you guys can do the legacy rate radio downgrader if you want it's totally up to you i'm just gonna do the normal one next i'm gonna just pick the old music i'm not gonna pick the new um and then next and then this right here a lot of people um i personally have a select ones i pick i don't really know if some people need them some people don't but you guys can select all the ones I picked. So Z menu, simple traffic loader, script hook, and then the no cursor escape. This is if you have dual monitors, I believe. It doesn't actually, like, as you're playing the game, it doesn't mess up. And, um, yeah, it doesn't, like, go out and mess anything up on that other monitor. Uh, shader fixes, don't use that. I also don't use this. And the fusion fix, I don't use um, because I don't play missions. Steam achievements, you, this is totally up to you guys. I'm personally don't care about steam achievements with this game and uh, once you guys get that you guys go ahead and hit next make a backup for me that's up to you guys i'm not going to and go ahead and hit downgrade uh you still have this should be downgraded if you don't want to lose them now it's time to make the backup of them it's fine 
I personally don't care. If that comes up, that's obviously because I already have downgraded previously and it kept the scripts folder in there. Um, yeah. Alrighty guys, and once it becomes green and says you guys can continue, go ahead and hit next. And it's going to say save file, you guys are just going to hit skip. And this right here is very important. I go ahead and recommend the command lines of this and the windowed and go ahead and hit next. There's already a command line, that's because I already put one in there. You guys can just override the existing file if you guys also have the same message come up. Now it says congratulations, do not, do not, do not pl press the play GTA 4, just hit exit. Once you guys have exited, you guys can go ahead and close this. You guys can delete the downgrader, and the game is officially good to go. Um, and how you guys would get to the game is you guys are going to go ahead and open up Steam. Nope, that's not Steam. Let me open up Steam here. And you guys are going to go and browse the local files. So manage, browse local files. You guys can minimize that. And then once you guys are here, as you guys can tell, it has been modified. And then you guys can scroll down and you guys will see that there's a play and a launch. You guys will just click play GTA 4. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that last though because I am going to install these two other mods before doing it. Um, you guys can go ahead and start it up if you'd like to. Um, as you guys will notice, I do have an LCPDFR thing here, but I am going to go ahead and replace it. That was previous, um, so that's not going to be there for you guys. Um, but yeah, so now what you guys want to do is go ahead and open up whatever browser you use again. And go ahead and look up the LCPDFR GTA 4 download. I'll also have it linked down in the uh, description for all you guys. So you guys don't actually have to come and search it. You guys can just go click the link. And then go ahead and hit download this file. Agree and download. A bunch of options are going to come up. You guys just want to go ahead 1.1 manual install. And go ahead and scroll down. And if I just click here, it usually will do it fairly quick. But I just like to hurry it up. So I just do it that way. And then once that's done... You guys also want to go back and search up ELS uh, LCPDFR um, and it should bring up the one you guys need right here and go ahead and download agree and download and then it's going to ask uh, advanced hook you guys are going to want to grab this alongside with the other one I will show how to install the advanced hook um, in the other in another video I'm not going to show it in this one but um, yeah so just go ahead and get both of them, just so you guys have them. And then, yeah, so once that's all done, you guys are good to go there. And then open your main files back up, and then scroll down. You guys are going to find a D sound. Um, okay, so the D sound's not there yet, but you guys will have a D sound in a minute, and you guys are going to want to remove that. So we're going to go ahead and go to downloads, pull all the two files that we're going to install out. We're going to leave the advanced hook alone for now because we're going to do that in a different video. And then go ahead and extract all. Same thing. Extract. Copy and replace, copy and replace, copy and replace. Yeah, so the dsound.dll. Um, we're actually going to just remove that and we're going to use X live list. I noticed in the last one, uh, I said it the opposite and to use X live or to remove X live list and to keep D sound to actually prevent the game from running altogether. So, uh, yeah, that's not good. So now that you guys have this, uh, extracted, go ahead and open up 
the actual file folder do not leave it in this one make sure you guys actually open this up and you guys should see a list of files like this and then go ahead and go back to steam same thing browse manage uh, browse local files and then you guys will have these so um, also I wanted to let you guys know this is Windows 11 so if you guys are wondering why it looks different that's why um, it does work the same exact way with Windows 10 it's just I'm on the newer operating system so you guys want to go ahead and open up GTA 4 and then go ahead and copy all these over just drag and drop them it's gonna ask you to replace um, a couple things um, just go ahead and hit replace and then once it's replaced you guys are going to want to go ahead and now make your way down and find the dsound.dll, uh, which is going to be in here somewhere. I believe it is here. Let to me I find it. Let me make sure it's not, because I'm pretty sure I saw it. Yeah, so it's in, in there. I don't know where I missed it at, but just go ahead and delete it. Um, open file location. Okay, so we should be good. Alrighty, guys, once you guys got them files pushed over here, you guys are going to want to go ahead and um, go ahead and launch the game for the first time. Before installing ELS, I am going to launch it just because I want to make sure everything's working, the LCPDFR and all that, and then we'll worry about the ELS um, because that's a whole separate thing really in itself. So just go ahead and make your way down to play GTA 4. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and launch it up. Now, I don't know if it's going to record, but we're going to uh, see if it'll record the screen. I might have to do a different recording software to do it. Alrighty, guys. So yeah, we are good. Um, we'll go ahead and start. And uh, once we get loaded in here, I'll show you guys that we are indeed good. And once we get in here, as you guys will notice, we're good to run around. You know, we can do everything. And then if you guys press Alt and P at the same time, as you guys will notice, it'll say welcome to LCPDFR. Also, if you guys want to skip this uh, a little intro, you guys can just no clip out. Um, and what you guys will notice too is also the game runs a lot better. Um, that is because Look I also got a new computer. So it is now upgraded. Um, it's got a 3050 RTX in it along with a i5 11. 400 processor and 40 gigs of RAM. So yeah, it's pretty much solid now. I'm just showing you guys that it does work. That's pretty much all I'm trying to do real quick, just to show you guys that the LCPDFR obviously is working already, but I'm gonna show you guys if you guys can continue on. Because a lot of people said that the game crashes and doesn't work. That also could be the, v, the PC that you guys are using. Um, Side of the road, stupid! Units report a criminal fleeing a 
a crime scene in Oakley Street. Sometimes you will get this message and I wanted to show you guys you will get this when you guys close the game It's perfectly fine. I don't know why it does it um, It's there's nothing alrighty guys I just want to let you know that this is actually the wrong version So I will be leaving the correct version down. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip the video to the correct version and uh, Yeah, so let's go ahead and get right back into it Alrighty guys, so here we go. I finally figured this part out. I don't know why it wasn't coming up But I'll go ahead and leave, leave this linked in the description so you guys can find this easier and not do the same mistake I just did there once you guys have this open you guys can go ahead and minimize this so now You guys are gonna see GTA 4 not GTA 5 and then you guys want to same thing um, Go ahead and open up your steam Browse the local files again and then put you over here, put that over there. Same thing, just copy and paste it over here. Make sure we're open in the right spot. Go ahead and replace. Now the dsound.dll is right here. So you guys are gonna wanna go ahead and remove that because you guys are gonna run into a problem with that later down the road. ELS, you guys can go ahead and open this up. You guys can scroll down here, right here. AIs, go ahead and turn this to off and uh, also off as well and go ahead and save and that's ELS installed so now if we had ELS vehicles it would obviously work with the lights and stuff like that um, so yeah that's pretty much how you guys install everything if this did help and this made your guys life a little bit easier um, hopefully you guys don't have as many problems as we did last time <laughs>